Oh, hello. It's nice to see you all here. My name is Alexandra, and you all know that. And today I show you how to paint every miniature. So, you want to start to paint a miniature? The first thing you need to do is cut it out of the sprue and glue it together and get rid of the mold lines. I don't want to explain that here because Christopher from AG Productions did this recently. Just click here and you will find his video, his first videos from his uh, How to Paint a Turnit, and there he showed how to clean up mold lines. So, after you've done this, you assembled your model, <clears throat> you have to prime your miniature. There are basically uh, two primers out there, the white primer and the black primer. I personally prefer for high standard uh, paint jobs the white primer. This one here is for example white primed. <clears throat> And um, I don't use the black primer because um, the miniatures look very ugly and dirty on a black primer base because the acrylic colors itself are transparent and they always show the uh, primer underneath. And if you have black primer, primer, always black shows through and this looks kind of ugly. So. Then you need to decide what kind of miniature do you want to paint. Do you want to paint a realistic miniature or do you want to paint a comic style miniature? I show you now the differences between comic style and realistic. For example, here are some realistic painted miniatures. They are painted the way that uh, they may look like they are really out there. The skeleton looks dirty, <clears throat> the, um, the wood itself looks like there's moss on it, like this uh, shield on here, and uh, rusted parts, or this uh, plaque marine here, like the uh, armor is corrugated and rusted, and the rust uh, runs down there, and this one here, all rusted uh, pl plate mail. This is realistic style. And now against that you have comic style. Comic style uh, lives from high contrast in the miniatures. High contrasted. <clears throat> Here are some examples for uh, comic style miniatures. In comic style you often find uh, non-metallic metal, high contrasts here on the uh, on the armor, for example the whole armor is in non-metallic gold, then here uh, sky earth non-metallic metal, the wood itself uh, on the uh, on the axe is uh, painted in a high standard, or for example this miniature here this is not in the, such a high standard painted, but also comic style, with high contrast colors here. This is uh, painted like this banshee is glowing in the dark, with this uh, evil green glow, you all know from uh, the X-Files. Or for example this here. This miniature is more decent painted, more than the elf or the banshee, but uh, it is still comic style with high contrast colors <clears throat> and a non-metallic metal blade. Or, for example, this miniature here. This is also comic style. But nevertheless, uh, <clears throat> you have to decide what kind of miniature you want to paint. So. Let me say <clears throat> you decide for comic style. Then you want maybe to see how to paint this Blood Angel Commander here. This is a high standard comic style miniature. To the first video you, you come when you click on the marine itself. Well, you're still here. Then you may want to see another comic style miniature. This year I have painted on my old account, there the whole process you will find if you click now on the miniature. So, you are still there. Well, 
then you maybe you want to see how to paint a, <coughs> a space wolf. I have several space wolves painted, and uh, you see here now uh, one of my first steps in painting a miniature. The very first step in painting a miniature for me is mostly to paint the whole miniature with uh, black ink. This is because to see all the three-dimensional uh, parts of the miniature. But to show you how to paint exactly, um, I will show in the next tutorial. I hope you like this little go through through some uh, of my miniatures and uh, we see us in the next tutorial. You're Alexandra from Girl Painting. See you!